Hello, this is literally the, this is the end of the video really, because this, this is actually, bank holiday weekend, it's the end of March. I'm in my garage, still tying up tools lot, even though I left work three months ago. But um, this blog's boring, I don't know why anyone watches it, but people do. And I appreciate that some people are maybe starting out in business or want to know about business and that's why people watch it. Can't quite put my finger up myself, but find it hard to get material for it because I don't put any of the actual work in. I put the boring business stuff in, which people must be interested in, otherwise they won't watch it. Either it's going to tank it this month, in which case I'll fucking probably like dumb it down and sack it off. Or if people put in the comments, tell me about this part of your business, tell me how you do that, tell me about this bit, tell me about that bit, I'll try and incorporate it because no one or very few people are doing actual business content where there's got nothing to gain, nothing to sell. So... Like I say, I'm still getting my feet on the ground after three months. Like I say, I'm just getting around to clean up my garage now. The office is almost moving. I don't think there's much of that in here. The store's almost moving. There's not much in there. But yeah, if you want to see something, let me know because I've been doing this a long time. And if I can benefit someone and you're actually watching this video, which I find weird. That I, I like my videos to over a K now and plenty of people watch these blogs. I don't know why. So yeah, tell me in the comments what you want to see. I've been most interested. Other than that, have a great time. There won't be any end of the video because this was what I was going to record at the end. So, this is March. It is Monday the... Hang on. Monday the 4th of March. First proper working day of March. Uh, Friday was an office day. I'm back in the office now. Let me show you some of the things that are going off. I've had quite a few calls this morning regarding work. I might have to go up to Glasgow to do some power quality monitoring, which is interesting. Did the podcast last night. Don't really show you around last time, so let me just do that. The office is now sweet. It's not. There's the podcast set up. That's what I see. There's what you see. And this cord in here, this area is all set up for that, which is great. So that's been done. I didn't show that properly in the last video. I just, just this black cloth just suddenly appeared. So yeah, black cloth to keep the echo down. So that's what that's for. So yeah, got all the forest stuff drying out here because forest, Liverpool at the weekend, which was a fucking rager of a match. Uh, it was pissing down so things wet. So not got another forest match till the end of the month. So good chance to get the batteries charged, take all the entire bag out, check all the shit that's in there because you have to carry everything in there like wet weather gear, warm weather gear, cold weather gear, rags that are off my baby for wiping out and all that kind of stuff here. Yeah? So that's what's going on. But there's the podcast I didn't show in the last video. Over here... Is like an admin computer IT area. There's a few things over there. I've got a little touch screen I'm fixing for a customer. I've got a Windows XP machine I'm fixing for a customer. And uh, all of that, that Windows XP machine has seen better days, to be honest. I've also got going off here, this wood was off the broken doors. I'm going to convert that into a set. So that's going to be a set with this lovely brick wallpaper on. That's what I'm going to do this morning because I just want to get it out of the way. And that's so that when I'm doing a podcast with someone else, like a press one to one, I can cover the set because. This is the electrician's podcast set. So I've got that to do. Then I need to go in the stores. The stores has not been finished moving over like I showed in the last video. So I'll be down there in a bit. And I've got a little project start down there, a barrel washer, which is sort of doing another video on the YouTube. But yeah, everything's going good. Got down here and stopped all morning. Phone and stopped ringing about stuff. A lot of uh, a lot of business is a hair on the camera. A lot of business is just having conversations, isn't it? Doing means and that, developing that thing to get going. So today... Get this done, tidy the office up, keep it tidy. You never know when you want, need to make it a mess. And yeah, crack on. So that's the first day of the month, let's see how we get on. Just a quick one, yeah. I'm fixing an XP machine for someone. That's for a weighing the scale. I need to uh, repaste it. That paste is old look. It's hard, doesn't work. There's a few capacitors blown on that board, which I'm gonna try and replace. Get the power supply on that clean out. Still messing around with the Chevron, and then I have stuff like this look. So you crazy kids. Remember these, CD drive, floppy drive, CF cards. Because, because I do things with automation, I'm always dealing with old fucking ancient shit like that. In that box there, there's a zip disc player. So yeah, if anyone has any problems with like legacy IT equipment, I sort of will take it on. It's a bit of a weird thing to have on your bow, but a lot of stuff in industry is ancient and needs a Windows XP machine or like that. So I'm always fucking around with stuff. Yeah, that's my collection of random media playing equipment that I brought. And that that in there, that um that um 
that zip disc thing, I might get it out in a bit. That's gonna, I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have a PC here that's got all the legacy stuff on that zip disc thing. I don't know if it still works, I'm gonna try that. So yeah, there's all sorts going off at the minute. Yo, I am in the office again, but I haven't been in the office. It's actually the 11th of March today, and I'm just looking at the calendar there. So last week, I was meant to be on the S, 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 TMS, the triple STS course, but it got fucking cancelled, didn't it? Which was a pain in the arse, which left me with fucking three days spirit at the start of the week, which was a bit of a shit ass. Anyway, I emailed him and was like, they cancelled it because of lack of attendees, which I think is a piss take. I emailed him and says, oh, just give me the money back. And they said, oh, well, we'll knock you 20% off another course. So what I then decided to do was book the SMSTS, the manager's one, which you can't do till June. So it is what it is. My safety passport runs out, but then I found some work which needs me to have a safety passport. So now I've got to redo that. So effectively, I've now used the money I was going to use for that triple STMS to do the safety passport. This is very fucking boring. I'm just setting the scene what happened last week. So now I've got to find that course. The guy that I used to do it with, who was in Retford, is not, he's not doing it anymore. He's moved to France. So... I need to find that before that runs out because there's going to be a little window where I haven't got a safety course. So that's a bit of a pain in the arse. Then at, on Thursday and Friday, I was up at Chevron Arnoux, who sponsored the podcast and sort of lent me gear to use. There's separate videos about that, so I won't put them in here. I'm sure if you're watching this shit, you're watching them. I did, however, use some of that time to do some stuff. Let me show you. So I started getting all my accounts in order for the month, believe it or not. And if you don't, don't do anything in this account, then in here... I've had a real good tidy up and I've got a uh, an XP PC I'm working on there for reasons that's going to become apparent on some videos later. And I made this. This is some wood covered with brick wallpaper. And the idea behind that is, I know it fucking sounds stupid as fuck doing this stuff, but this is where the podcast is, look. And this is the podcast set, which I sort of want to be for the podcast. So what I've done is I've made this brick thing. So it looks like I'm in a brick wall and I'm going to put that, that's going to, when that's dried, I've just wallpapered that this morning. Don't try and wallpaper with PVA glue. It doesn't work. When that's dried, I'm going to take the edges off so I don't get frayed. I'm going to cover it with PVA glue so it goes hard. And then this is going to slide in, in front of the podcast set so that I can record pieces to camera and do other podcasts and just generally have somewhere to record with a decent background. It's going to be a whiteboard on there, maybe a light or something. I'm going to tie it up a little bit. That basically streamlines what I want to do because I can then come here where I've already got my microphone, I've already got my camera and I can record things like more educational things for uh, YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So that's a bit fucking boring, isn't it? So literally last night I did the podcast, I sit in the background and I was like, I've got no work all week. That's just how it is when you're self-employed. I had no work when I left this office last night. I had no work till 8.30 this morning. Then at 8.30 this morning, a guy I know rings me to go and do some power quality monitoring using the Chevron stuff I've got. So now, I'm running around like a knob because I've only just got the meter off Chevron last week to just check it's all set up properly and everything. Make sure I've got the software and then get it all into a bag with one night's clothes because I've now got to go up to Glasgow to do that. So there'll be some of that blog, me getting on the train. I book first class because I'm fucking pimp. So yeah, it's just amazing that when I woke up this morning, I had nothing on a week. I was going to come in here and do a bit more admin, get that wallpapering done. And now, I'm going up to Glasgow to do some power quality monitoring. Probably keep the wood from my door this week. So yeah. Nothing particularly happening so far in March, although I say that, they end up with miles of footage. I'm in the office again, but hopefully the next bit of this video, you'll see me on a train. Well, you won't see me on a train, actually, because one, that job I didn't record because it was for network rail, or it was on network rail's premises. So, no, they will never, ever allow that. So, fair play to them, got to respect their things. And two, in this blog, I don't put the work, I put the business side because there's plenty of fucking work on YouTube for people to look at. Mine and other people's, yeah. There's not plenty of business stuff on YouTube for people to look at. Hence why I keep this as business, boring admin, and all the bollocks of doing work. Uh, I'll have to retake that now. Hello, self-employed blog. It's uh, the 20th of March. Now, I've been a bit slack on this this month because... It's not, there's not been anything new. I've been making videos, I've been doing work, I've been doing odds and sods, but there's not been anything really new. So I'm not a bit slack on it. I've had some good little jobs. I've got, uh, I've had a, a couple of jobs come video or record or do any Instagram on, so it looks like I might not have been doing much, but I have been. And then also, like, one of the weird bits is, fucking running out of space in this office log. It's packed out with me doing stuff. 
Uh, I've been doing a bit of filming there, some Siobhan gear, doing some pictures. The studio bit, it's not, I mean, I, I got my own studio now, it seems to be fucking too small for space. So yeah, it's been a busy month. This blog is more about the business side of stuff. I don't want to show the work. I, I put my work on Instagram every week for you to see, and I put um, th th some of those videos on YouTube. So the work-wise, I've not really talked about it, but March has been a weird month. Like, seems to be running around doing loads of stuff and not getting... I, I just seem to be running around doing stuff and making a bit of money. So, yeah, I can't complain. That's what I'm going to keep doing. But what I do do is, and what I said I would do is, when I'm not out working on air, I still come to this office and get loads of stuff done. And, like, if I didn't do that, when I did get the work, I wouldn't have any time. So, it's a bit of a weird one, really. I mean, I've been getting some XP machines running for sale. I've got some other kit I've been refurbishing. I've been moving stuff in and out and doing some repairs. Weird, really. Loads of stuff that I didn't think would make me money, but they are. But I hate to disappoint this old poor because I sort of started it. But things are ticking over now. You can see the work I'm doing. But, yeah, it's, it's going all right. And it's meant to be quiet, but... I'm not sure this will fit in the video, but we'll see. I'll try and get a bit more bump in here this month and see what goes off. Uh, 21st of March day. I've just got a... I've got, what happened is... I've been procrastinating a little bit. Been doing some little jobs, yeah? I'll, uh, I'll show you. Don't really look to. Doing some bits in the office. Remember, this blog is just the office stuff. So I've built a little set of kind of things. So that gives me a nice backdrop, because I don't like using the podcast backdrop. Gives me a nice backdrop in this room, which is not very echoey, because I've put cloth all up. And I, I want to light that and make a bit more of a feature of it and use that. So I've got that done. That's nice now. So I've got like a nice little studio set up here now. Over here, I was filming some stuff here. This is where I like filming pieces to camera and, and, and bits. So I've done a few bits for Chev on there. Got a Windows XP machine being repaired there. Believe it or not, I've got a post area. Fucking, it just, it just works. And then uh, in the office... I got my computer, that's where I do all my editing, which is extensive now for an electrician. And I got all this other desk space, but it's, my, my books have taken over, so I've, I've laid them out and let them linger there. And then uh, it's Friday, no, it's Thursday today. I got a call for a job tomorrow. Fucking hell, great. Well, I was going to come and do the books tomorrow, but obviously I need to go and do work. I don't want them lingering until Monday. I, I dropped a bottle dinner. These books have been lying here for fucking days. Rather than just coming in and getting them nipped up, I didn't, and then I realised my VAT's due at the end of this month. So if I don't put them away, I'll be in a right clusterfuck. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time in the office afternoon. It's just about to go home so I can edit at home on, on my own other laptop. So I just thought, stop being a mong, yeah, and put these books away. Because someone told me years ago, and I never told you, I don't know who's ever told me this, but he's stuck with me for a long, long time. Do not put off to tomorrow what you can do today. Because that is how you end up being a clusterfuck. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time now getting all the books put away, getting all the accounts put away, get all this fucking desk back. Like, these are meant, this is meant to be where the accounts live waiting, just in that little space there. And this is meant to be like a little computer work area type thing. And it's not, it's just fuck got a load of books over it, so I'm going to sort that shit out. So yeah, do not put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Because if it gets to Monday, get a job. Then it gets to Tuesday, get a job. Then it gets to Wednesday, I've got to do something. Before you know it, I'll be in here fucking silly o'clock at night, trying to get my vat ready when I say, yeah, let's follow that policy now. We're getting neater, we're getting tidier. Let's fucking not be a mong about it. I want to do a really boring bit of stuff now about accounting that I learned a lesson of. So this is fucking boring. But here's a way where I streamline my accounts, right? So my business has three main ways, four main ways of paying stuff. You've got, I'll tell you what, wait there. I'll tell you how I pay for stuff. So I've got stamps. So the first one is pay with cash. Yeah. So if I pay anything with cash, when the invoice gets here, I will stick it to a bit of paper. Let me find an example of that. Here's a receipt for the post office. Yeah. And I love a stamp, right? Because it just saves me writing. I've stamped it, paid with cash. And then below it, I've wrote the date it was paid. Then in the top corner, there's the month. So up there, you'll see it says, uh, that's a January 24 invoice. It was paid with cash on the 1501. Staple it to a bit of paper and I've highlighted the date and I've highlighted the total. And I'm going to tell you why I do that in a moment. So paid with cash is the first one. There's that stamp. Paid by backs. So that's how I would pay uh, a backs transfer. So that would be like if I've got an account with someone this statement in the month, when I pay them, I pay it with backs. Again, when the bill comes through, it gets stamped with that. The date gets written on it. All the values get highlighted. 
paid with credit card. That's my business credit card because the only way the business can pay for things is with its with its business credit card. Paid with a business debit card. That doesn't get reused very often. It's very, very rare I pay for anything with a debit card because you don't get the protection of a credit card. There was a paid with PayPal one from back in... That's from back in the day when PayPal was a thing. The good news is I think you can re... Label these that never sees and that never sees any use anymore because I tend not to use PayPal now. Once eBay changed the way they did stuff, did stuff, I don't use that, but I used to use it a lot, which is why I got a stamp made for it. I've also got my name stamp. That's the date stamp I stamp the corners of the invoice with. So as soon as they get blasted, so I could just go, well, where's the general invoices? Flick through them all in the top corners, and you'll see, look, they're all there. The date stamp was on the desk. Then I have one called posted, which means it's gone into the books. One called booked in, which means that when the invoices come to me, I've allocated the stuff on it to the jobs I've done. That means it's booked in. That means someone else is going to pay for it, not me. Then we have a QC pass one, yeah? So I love a good stamp. Um, most are in there, like I say, don't use the PayPal one very much. If I use my own personal credit card, put it stops me, I'm going to record a video. If I use my own personal credit card, that's cash, because it's not the business money. And if I use my own cash, it's cash. So they're the ways. The main ones are backs, cash, credit card, and backs. Backs, cash, credit card. Yeah, that's about it. Three of them. Now, since I've got on my own this time round, and since I've been on my own when I'm working with someone, this is my credit card bills for the uh, year. So I, I tend to find that I make a lot, a, a lot of. I don't like to use accounts with companies at the minute. I've got a couple of accounts I use because they're specialist suppliers. But generally, I'd rather just go to the company or wherever I'm buying it from, use the credit card, get the receipt. I get the receipt, get it back here, stamp it all up, how it's been paid, credit card, the date on it, get those details and transfer it to the invoice of the company I'm going to spend so that they get billed for it. It just, it might cause a little bit more work. But what I don't get is I don't get a statement at the end of the month from like 10 supplies going from one supplier with fucking 20 things on that all need to separate to different accounts. So at the minute, this just works for me. So at any point, you can go into this file and say, oh, that was paid by credit card and all that. And then what I do is, I've got to be careful now, I can't be too close yet. So what I do is, rather than in the good old days, I had a spreadsheet for it all on. Now what I do is I use my bank statement. So I collect all my invoices for the month. And then on my bank statement, look, you'll see down here, this is for February. So what I've done is, this is the credit card. It's itemised all the stuff I've bought in a list, which is great. That saves me doing it. There's no need for me to create a spreadsheet for that. I used to, but I don't anymore. Because my accountant does my accounts off my bank statement. So the first one on this sheet is called 0201. That's February 02, and it's receipt 01. So then, at the minute, I'm on, um, I'm on receipt 0207 on the credit card. So that's credit card receipt February and it's number seven. That's just gone in, look. That is a post office postage bill. I think I sent some stuff out for the podcast. You'll see on there, look, top corner, there is, it's marked February 2004, so I know what it was done. All the prices are marked with that, and at the bottom it says paid with credit card, and it's number 0207. So now, I'm just going down my statement, and I'm finding, so the next one, for example, is Amazon Marketplace, and it's for £7.50. So they get my big stack of fucking invoices out. I've already arranged these. Get this one off, because this is the £7.50 one. Then I stamp it, because it's not stamped. So I know it's been paid with a credit card. Then I write its number on it, this one being 02-08. And that means this invoice ties up with this bank statement. So when the accountant does it, rather than working off my shitty spreadsheets and diving for all my books and different things, this folder, this folder is entirely full of, this is in line with the statements for the credit card. Over there, there's another folder which is in line with the statements for the bank statements for all the backs payments and stuff. So they, it saves the account time so they don't have to go fanning around. It's a good little system. Before I was doing it on spreadsheets, but my account says, just do it to your, do it to your statements, that's how I do it. So you have all your invoices and payments lingering around in a tray for a month. But at the end of the month, I whip through them when my statement arrives for February. I go through and pull out the February ones because they're marked up here for me to see easily. Chuck them in a pile. Do a first sweep down the statement. I go, right, I'm looking for this one. And I go, duh, 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 duh. that's that one. And put it in a pile. And then I put it upside down in a the pile. Then when I turn the pile back over, 
all these invoices are in the right order as per the statement i just go through check they're all all right check they're all stamped and pop them in a the box and that has saved me loads of time although you've got to wait to the end of the month to do your reconciliation type thing what i do is as soon as i get the invoice I take the stuff off it that I need to build to a customer and I put it on the invoice on my computer in Excel. So that means that what's on here now, whatever this is for, is either me internally, so a business cost, or it's been put on a customer's invoice. So when the job's finished, the customer will get charged for whatever this is if it's associated to them. So that's the way I find doing it. I hope that helps. If anyone's got any questions about that, put it in the comments because I appreciate sometimes people want information like that. It's not very forthcoming, but yeah. You don't need all these stamps. It's just a time same thing I've built up over the years. You can just write on it, paid with credit card, the date that it left the account, not today's date. The top corner is the month and the year. And I highlight the date and the value so that when I'm on it, I can see it quickly. They're the two points I need off it. And my account, I can see that quickly for doing things like my VAT return. That was a 7 minute 22 boring video about accounting. But I've got a sneak suspicion People will like that on this businessy fucking whatever this is becoming. So yeah, that's how I do my accounts. Just to add to that, that's the credit card one that contains all the credit card invoices in line with the credit card statement. Over here on the shelves, this folder is for cash. That is all the invoices that I paid out of cash in day order because there's nothing to reference. It just got cash on them. That one's for tax accounts and all the gubbins that need to be done. This one is called invoices pending booking in because it used to be on the shelf. That's where I put all the invoices in, in order while I wait for the statements to come. That one's called payments bank. That's all the bank statements in the same kind of thing. And that one's payments received. That's my favourite one. That's when people pay me, it goes into there. So the account knows when they've been paid. So my actual accounts go across one, two, three, four, five, six ring binders and everything else in here is just pure chaff to make that happen. So yeah, hopefully that's useful to you. Um, it took me fucking 20 years in business to come up with that and you can make accounts a real fucking mess. Why do you need QuickBooks or any of that shit when you've got bank statements? Maybe if you're fucking putting loads of bits and bobs out, but I'd find that as a simple method. I drop the books off my accountants, they do my VAT and my tax, they send me back. And if anything else I need, I just do a spreadsheet. But most of it is just business expenses and outgoing. So tell me how you do it. Go in the comments. I bet that'll be very popular in the comments. People love that shit for some reason. I've got a funny suspicion that this blog, this month, is going to be more about accounting than anything. Because there's not a lot else to go on. But yeah, um, what is worth memory, Jase? I'm not an accountant. My wife is, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm not an accountant. I'm a bookkeeper. I keep my books. I get my bank statements. And I organise them in a folder because that's the time consuming bit that I can handle so my accountant doesn't do it don't be one of them cunts that throws all the fucking receipts into a bin bag and gives them to your accountant because you see what I'm doing now this ain't costing me anything to get them all organised the accountant will get them go bang 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 flick through them sort the van and all that yeah if you pay them to put your books together they're going to fucking charge you their accounts fee for bookkeeping so I assemble them all into a, I make it as easy as I can for my accountant to look through these five folders following a system related to a bank account, which means they're not digging through a box of receipts for fucking four hours, assembling it all and charging with that. That's why I keep my statements low. And that's why my accountant rings me last minute from a VAT because she knows it's all ready to go. And uh, just get it done. And it keeps my cost down. Don't pay people to put your shit together. Yeah, don't pay people to sweep up, do you? Because it costs you a fortune. Just do it yourself. So same with books and bookkeeping. having one of them weeks i the graphics computer failed on me last night on the podcast but it restarted it was incredibly hot so i was like oh no problem i'll just repaste the thermal goo on the cpu which i did disconnected the battery did everything right or thought it had changed the goo on the cpu turned it back on one start left the batteries kept in there probably totally fucked it what a twat only cost me a couple of hundred quid there's lots of money anyway, but uh it's been a good friend but yeah didn't disconnect the battery, and now I've probably fucked it. Now I've got to fucking reload a laptop for another job. Because it's forest the weekend. And this is the laptop that runs that. Bastard! Right then, after fucking us how many hours, my brother gave me that ThinkPad a while ago. We got it off some firm during COVID that then went bust. So my brother gave me that ThinkPad, so I've actually finally sat down and put the graphics on that and the forest stuff. 
annoyingly, and this is our business works here, this PC, I bought it as a, like a disposable, breakable, smashable, don't give a shit PC when I was training just after COVID. Probably about, I don't know what year that was now. It was, it's all a mess. Um, and because I use it for Forest and it was been all right and was pretty solid, I bought a new battery for it then about two months ago. And now that battery is not going to fit fuck all out. So the question is, do I buy another one of these? There's a couple on eBay and use the battery in that. There's one on eBay that's got a fucked up battery that's, that's otherwise in good condition, apparently, and put it in that. Or just write the old lot off as a bad loss and buy something a bit more modern to be what I call my rough PC, my scrap PC, the one that I don't mind breaking. And then sell that battery on eBay. Meh, fucking. In the office again, it's uh, the 25th. It's my birthday today, I'm 42. Oh, anyway, let me tell you about my IT fleet, because this is boring business stuff you never know, yeah? This laptop, when I bought it, this cost over £2,000. It was an absolute beast. Still, to be fair, it's a pretty good laptop now. It sits on this pad, which blows air for it, because I think all the cooling paste fucked. And I was toying with replacing the, to the, the, the paste on that, but apparently it's a right nightmare to do. It's going to die one day, and I'm really going to be up shit street because that's what I edit all my video on. And then I've got a Dell XPS at home, which is about the same age. Then, when I started training a few years ago, my mate got me this, just a little Inspire on. And that has been used for the podcast graphics and for Forest, and just as like a rough PC that I carry around me that I don't mind breaking. Anyway, come in last night, did the podcast, and while I was in the podcast, it conked out, it was too hot. So I thought, oh, I'll change the thermal paste on that. It'll be a good experiment for when I've got to do that one. Came in, shut it down, took the power out, changed the thermal paste. Absolutely forgot to take the battery out, didn't I? It's fucked. It's dead. CPU's fucked. So that now is like, well, do I buy a cheap one of it off eBay or do I upgrade? Because I'd just like to have a computer there that just does the graphics and does forest, but... <sighs> fucking IT like I mean I've got a computer there that just does the video and audio for the podcast I had that one for the graphics I've got that one that's my main desk PC when that goes like I say it's going to be a fucking hoo-ha I've got a spare one of those at home that I use for working at home and I've got this ThinkPad my brother gave me which is brand new to now upgrade to be that replace that one out there but honestly the the running your it is a fucking nightmare in this game because you need software and like i know people do have one laptop like talk about having all your eggs in one basket at least i've got options i can jiggle stuff around even that's a pain in the cunt so yeah so now i'm debating whether to buy a another one of them off ebay and repair that one or just cut my losses bin it and buy a, a more up-to-date dial which is think of what i'm going to do i think i'm going to have to sack that one off in it's got lots of lovely stickers on the lid i think i have to sack that one off Buy something a bit more updated, spend a bit of money that I haven't got, and carry on. But yeah, this is the kind of bullshit, the never ending bullshit that hits you in your business. Like, oh, I need a new computer now to replace my fleet of one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have five than one. At least with five, I can absorb a lot of it. So yeah, that's the next little bullshit I'm dealing with today. Enjoy. Instagram, yeah. Can't not fucking love it as a platform, can you, when shit like that happens? That's thanks to that's thanks to two people. Oz the electrician who messaged me on here, give me some tips. And also my number one go-to IT man, my long serving friend, Alex the Wizard, who sort of said the same thing as him at the same time. Just keep booting it and try a BIOS reset. Bosh, it's back. Just save me the best part of 200 quid. Cheers, boys. Fucking with that Instagram. Because I Googled everything and knew what I needed to know. Without people fucking kicking me up the arse on Instagram and, and my mate Alex, I'd have probably been that or just saved it for parts. Yeah, back up and running now. Fucking bonza. The, uh, the best thing about that now working is, you know what, I don't totally trust that. Now, if it's running the podcast graphics, great. If I'm using it at Forest, I think it'll probably be all right, you know. I think it'll probably be all right. But... The good news is, or the good thing is for me, because of that kick up the arse and that breaking now, that one's ready to go. That's now working as a spare laptop for podcast graphics and for So I'd need to kick up the arse and get that going. I need to incorporate that to me. I'd like to incorporate all my computers into the process so that when one breaks, I've got some fallback, which is why I weren't particularly angry about it, but it's nice that one's working again. So yeah, cheers to you, lads. 
Cheers, Instagram. Save me a few quid, is there? Oh, yeah. I'd actually already gone to the asset list and ripped that computer off. <laughs> it's fucked. So that's back. That's nice. Now I've got someone out of battery. I think I'm going to retire that now, just to menial duties like graphics and, and forest. I'll probably have to carry a film. But yeah, I'm fucking well happy about that. Cheers, the Instagram crew, because, uh, yeah, that's fucking a little bit of payback for me dishing all my knowledge out there. Ta very much. I don't know what's going off today. The laptop started working, which was a bonus. Then I'm sat here, got an interview tomorrow to do some training. And then I get a phone call off a training company saying, we've seen you on LinkedIn. We know you know what you're on about. We've got a customer that's desperate tomorrow because someone's not there. Will you go and teach his basic electrical course? So I was like, yeah, that sounds interesting, a bit on the wing. So anyway, I said, yeah, now I'm going tomorrow. So some poor bastard somewhere who were doing a basic electrical course are going to get me to up tomorrow and finish that course off for them. So I hope they enjoy it. So I'll just get my teaching shit out, <laughs> get the laptop ready, and off I go. But yeah, that's gone from nothing to that tomorrow. Uh, I was going to for an interview for a trade job tomorrow now, but I've sent them a video instead. The reason I put that uh, motors video together was to prep for an interview tomorrow where I had to teach how to do fault finding on a motor. Well, now I've got some actual work, and I've just sent that video instead and said, if you like this, give me a shout. If you don't, <laughs> meh. So, at the interview to Mark, the interview was meant to be today, the task was to deliver um, how to test a three-phase motor. So, as part of just prepping up for that interview, making sure I had it, I made the video last week, how to test a three-phase motor, which has gone down quite well on my YouTube and Instagram, stuff like that. So, because I couldn't go to the interview, I just sent them that video and goes, if you like this, this is what I do, uh, give me a job. If you don't like this, I won't bother because this is what I do. So uh, we'll see what comes back on that. Uh, but yeah, that was just for interview prep. Obviously, I swear within the first five minutes, but meh, I'm just a human. I don't. It, YouTube has to be entertaining, doesn't it? It's not just about teaching. Whereas when I'm actually teaching, I do rein it in a little bit. My missus uh, watched a bit of it and she showed some people where she works just to kind of show them what I do. I don't know why, they're just weird. They all talk about stuff like that. And she says, I skipped forward and the first bit you did is when that dog's outside your window and you're shouting at it. The, uh, the funny bit is, and I'll reveal this on here, shouldn't reveal your secrets yeah, but if anyone's watched the video, you'll know what bit I'm on about. It's about two minutes in where the dog's barking outside my window and starts swinging at you, yeah? The, the trick is, uh, there is no dog. There was no dog. There was never a dog there. It's called a hook, that. It's, when people new watch the video, they're not going to sit there and watch fucking 38 minutes of me banging on about motors unless it's also entertaining. And that little hook is to show off the other side of what the video is going to be about. There's going to be some funny in it. So yeah, that dog's not there. That's a sound effect I nicked off YouTube. There is no dog barking outside the window. It's just a little icebreaker type thing that happens in the first few minutes of the video. The dog is not there. So yeah, um, I always try and put a hook in. For new viewers to go, oh, actually, this could be quite entertaining. That, that wouldn't normally happen. Like, oh, that wouldn't normally happen. Oh, maybe this would be more interesting. So, yeah, if you've seen that video, there is no dog. It's the 28th of March. It's near the end of the month. Uh, it's also Easter weekend, isn't it? So, tomorrow's Friday. Last, I think today's, is today the last day of the month? I don't fucking know. I asked Siri, but he just told me it was Wednesday, which is bollocks. So, today, really is the last working day of the month. And I'm unsure of whether I've hit my target of what I wanted to earn. So, I don't know about that. Um, my target was, I would like, my, my target, which is like an, it's not a, it doesn't mean anything really. Well, it does, but it doesn't. I wanted to earn what I earned at my last company where I was working PAYE, not including the bonus. Because I don't need to worry about the bonus. Uh, because like I pay less tax and stuff, so that's my obituary target I've set. Don't think I quite cracked it this month again. Didn't quite crack it last month again. Didn't crack it the month before. It's not a problem. Stuff's building up. I've got some bookings for next month. I've got some jobs to do next month. If I'd have got myself really, really, really busy, I could have rammed everything I'd got into this month and, and said I'd hit it. But that would just be fake accounting, wouldn't it? It'd be like. I could have run round and round every single job in the last month and said, yeah, I've done it, made myself feel great for 10 seconds and robbed this one. So I'm, I'm not feeling bad about that. 
Today, I've got a load of business crow to do. I've just been teaching for the past two days. That was a good little gig. That's PAY, so it's some instant cash. Doesn't go through the business though, but I count it towards the, the top figure. I'm gonna go down the office, get the VAT books, take the VAT to the accountants. I knew she'd sneakily ask me for it, and she did. Get that down to the accountants, work out much VAT I'm owed, and next month, can start fresh. Um, well, not start fresh, because next month will be my next, the next quarter will be my last quarter. And then we can uh, start from next year and see what goes off. But yeah, today's a bit of running around, doing fuck all, making sure my time sheets from for the last job I've been at, doing all that boring admin that, to be fair, if you work for someone, all this boring admin gets done for you. When you work for yourself, you have to go and do it. So I uh, don't think you're going to be working five days a week being a sparker, because you're not. You're going to be fucking five days a week as a sparker, then five days a week doing shit admin. Get used to it. 